West Africa. It's a rhythm that is solely from Guinea, West Africa. Okay? That's it. It's the dance of the strong man. It was originally used to sort of um, maybe like settle differences within the community or something like that, or just to show up of strength and of, of posture and everything else like that. Now it's more of a celebration. I mean, these are old rhythms, and what party, it is... Party. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a party. party. Uh, they play it for many different... You know, if somebody's going to get married, they'll have a doing about it. You know, if they have a, you know, you know birthday, whatever. It's when they, when they want to throw down and have a good time. When they want to throw down, they're going to do, 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 do it. Do it. Do it. Do the do numba. Do the do numba. Do the do numba. I mean, they all have their, their cultural significance and their history behind them, which is a long, a long and very detailed history. Basically, this is the person who's leading, uh, who, who's leading in the Dunamba will, will hold on to this. That means like it's like a talking stick. You, you got a talking it's stick. Like you can talk. It's, it's like, like the mic. It's like the mic. It's like the cipher. Uh, you got the mic. Throw it okay. to somebody then, else. Instead yeah. of spitting, except this is the dance floor. Yeah, and you're spitting. You're when you're dancing, because when you're you're, when people are in a circle and the drum stuff's going on. You know, one thing that's very important is like you, you have one one soloist drumming and you have one dancer dancing. It's also soloing. In fact, what they're doing is it, um, it's kind of an interesting uh, thing that the dancer dances and the drummer actually drums to how the dancer's dancing. The solo, well, one the solo tries to at least. one tries to outdo the other too. The dancer There's a lot of basically out. the dance moves are communication with the, the lead drummer, and so there's a soloist and the soloist and the, when they pass it around. The dancers, they pat. This is the way of passing the microphone on the dance floor. So It goes in front of the, the djembe player, okay, and the dancer is going to do all these moves, right, and tries to throw off. The, the deal with the, the drummer, you're supposed to mark every single move of the dancer, right? You're supposed to mark their moves. It's communication. And one tries to fake out the other one, you know, but the drummer will be right on, you know, and that's what, the, you know, if, if the drummer hits everything that that dancer does, everybody's like, oh! And, and the other way around, if the, the dancer freaks out the, the drummer, they'll be like, get out of here.
Thank you.